the show, Eric. It's very Thank nice you. to see you. What are you doing in that scene? You're playing poker with Robert Duvall? I'm playing... Can you, I can't even believe that. I saw that clip. I got, I got to act with, with Robert Bobby Duvall. Duvall. Pretty pretty cool. Do you call him Bobby now and everything? I call him Bob. I call him oh, Bob. Bob. Yeah. Bob Duvall. It was really cool. Uh, in that scene, he, he plays my father in the film, and um, we, we play against each other a lot. I don't like him because he left my mother when I was a kid and, and me, so... That's I not for real. That's in the movie. In the movie, right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of resemblance there, though. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I basically spend most of the movie hating him and then towards the end... I, don't, I don't, don't... Not a spoiler I, 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 I shoot him at the table, I, like, take him down. And... <laughs> I don't actually kill anyone in this film, believe it You don't it kill I don't anyone kill a single this person. This is a departure for you know, in some ways. I know. I like that. Now, do you play American or does he play Australian? He play... No, we both play American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you, you are from one of my, my favourite town, really, in Australia, Melbourne, right? Yep. There you yeah. go. Yeah. 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 So they still have... You, you still live there, right? Yes, I do. They, they yeah. still have the trams there? We still have trams in Melbourne. I have yeah. no idea why, but we still have them, because... I can it's understand one of the, it's, that. It's a weird baggage thing. Like, we got known as being the city with the trams, now we can't get rid of the trams. Otherwise, right. we're not known as a city with nothing, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And, so we're stuck with the trams. Yeah. And they've got a fantastic opera house in, in Melbourne. Not the one in Sydney. Everybody talks about the one in Sydney. Uh, but the one in Melbourne is... I had the DTs in it once. Really? <laughs> Why? Uh, I'd been drinking for about five <laughs> days. So. Our opera house will do that. Yeah, too. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, we don't, we don't need the fancy kind of architecture at our opera house because we just, you know, we just. You've go never about been in business. it, have you? Have you ever been in that opera no, house? I've no, no, no you've never been. <laughs> it's next. It's the tram runs by it though. Right. So, well, yeah, then you've seen you it. Get to it. They used to have a very nice juice bar in Collingwood. I can't remember the name. I must of it. write all this stuff down. <laughs> when I, when I get home next week. I must, I must check out the opera house and the juice bar. Yeah, yeah and the, uh, and the last laugh. There's a yes. comedy club called The Last Laugh. You ever go there? Yeah, I did one of my first ever gigs years ago um, uh, at The Last Laugh. Melbourne has a really vibrant um, stand-up comedy circuit, which was my background before before I became very serious and did films. Yeah, you're very serious um, now. Very serious. Were you, were you good when you were a stand-up? Were you funny? I was all right. I was, yeah. I was OK. Do you remember Anthony Morgan? He was a good stand-up. Yeah, he's there. a bit of a legend back home, Anthony it, Yeah, he, listen, when Anthony was sober, he's the best stand-up I've ever it's seen. very, very yeah. good. It's very, very good. No, so I mean, that's, that's a very legitimate comic because there's yeah. a, a lot of stand-ups that, that are drunks, you know, and, and <laughs> the, the, pre, the presence and kind of weird and all that stuff, it's very normal. And, yeah, yeah. But you're right. Are you a uh, hopeless drunk or are you all right? Uh, not on stage. Not on stage, on stage, just, uh, just no, off the... Yeah. That's one of the times I knew I was in trouble because an Australian barmaid said to me, geez, Mike, you drink a little too much. And I went... <laughs> When an Australian barmaid <laughs> yeah. tells you you drink too much, yeah. you're like, well, maybe I do. Yeah. We're in Australia. Oh, my God. That's when I started thinking about we don't, it. Because we don't have rehab in Australia. We just have bar people that say that sort of thing to you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Slightly suggest it. Yeah. It's very interesting. Do you think Australia's changed a lot in the past 10, 15 years because of the, like... There's a huge successful surge of Australian actors, of which you're mm -hmm. one, and, and it changes the perception of the country, don't you think? Well, I'd like to think so. I don't know if it does. I, and I, I, I still get a little bit... I don't want to put my country down, but I get a bit embarrassed by the way that we advertise our country. Right. You know, seriously, like, they still go the whole, you know, the beach is empty and we're waiting for you and we're doing this and, you know, and the barbie's yeah. going. And <laughs> it's like, that's... To me, that's like, OK, yeah, the beach and stuff, but, you know, I grew up... You know, a guy in the western suburbs of Melbourne, you know, Australia to me was just like any suburban place. You know, I was a landlocked mammal, as, as I was. Right. And, um, you know, so Australia is a very sophisticated, big city sort of culture. We just happen to have the world's best beaches as well, of course. Yeah, you but, do have very nice but, um, but it is, you know, we are, a little more, we are a little more progressive than our country advertise itself as. Did you ever go to Adelaide? Have you ever been to Adelaide? I have, yeah, I've been to Adelaide a few times. Have you ever been to the Crazy Horse Strip Tea Saloon in Adelaide? <laughs> can we cut this bit out? Yeah, we can yeah. cut this bit out. Oh, man! <laughs> man! I know, we got to take a break. Oh. We'll be right back with Eric Bana. Do you, uh, do you play poker in real life? Do you do that? There's a lot of the celebrity poker things. Do you do it? Yeah, no, I, I, I stay away from it. I'm no fool. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I played a lot, you know, before we started the movie and during the film. Actually, the film is full of poker players. There's very few actors in the movie. 
Drew Barrymore is an actor. I, well, Robert I Duvall, I know, actor. I know. But most of, the, most of the other people you see in the film, it's really fascinating. They're re the real deal. And Curtis, our director, Curtis Hansen, is, is a poker freak. He loves poker. And he was really determined to give it real authenticity. So I was just surrounded by these mad poker players, you know, all day long. And they, they do drive you insane, yeah. these guys. <laughs> they really do. Because they will argue over the smallest thing. It's like... The minute you open the floor to interpretation as to whether it should be a king queen or a king ten, it's like, guys, I hate to break it to you, but these cards have just come out of a pack. Yeah. You know, like, it's possible that it could have been a king ten, you know. I know. You know, when Jennifer, uh, when Jennifer Tilly was on the show, Jennifer Tilly was on, she plays a lot of uh, poker, and she, she said, one of my tells is when I'm telling the truth, my thumbs go up. <laughs> so that's what it tells, because I said to her, I was very, uh, you know, I was very well endowed, and I put my thumbs up. <laughs> And she believed me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if ever you want to fool Jennifer Tilly, you know, that's know the way. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it. What about America? Have you had a look around it? Have you have you looked around? Have you travelled around America, seen bits of it? I have. I, I actually fortunately before I started in this business, I did a big trip around America. I, I, I came here when I was twenty one years of age, young and stupid, and I bought a car and I drove like uh, I think it was like twelve thousand miles around America. Where did you, did you go to the South? I went everywhere. I love I went the South. Everywhere. Yeah. And I made some great friends down there and spent some time in South Carolina and Greenville, South Carolina. Never been there. You Never. should check it out. Greenville in South Carolina. Yeah. yeah, I should go there. You really should. Yeah, you know where you should go? Alabama. Alabama. Oh. <laughs> Alabama's awesome. I'm yeah, that's for the list. Alab so you Mel need to go Alabama and the Crazy Horse <laughs> Strip Tea Saloon in Adelaide. And, and the Melbourne Opera yeah, House. Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. you still doing the driving? Do you still do the, uh, the driving the fast cars? I do, I do, yeah. I race cars when I'm, not, when I'm not shooting. I've been doing that since, you know, before I started this job. It's how I blow off steam and, uh, you know, I, 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 really, I really love it. It's, it's, it's I, you know, something I do with my friends and I'm um, very passionate about it. You any good at it? I'm OK. I, yeah. I, I had a little mishap last week, though. I had a, had a bit of an incident. Had, I crashed out of a really big, uh, dangerous race we have back home called the Target Tasmania uh, with my best friend and uh, navigator next to me. And we hit a tree at about 50 mile an hour. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, was, but the, I'm, I'm OK. Is everybody was, OK? Everyone's fine. My car is not, unfortunately, and it's um, how's my the, baby. Uh, how's the tree? Tree? <laughs> tree didn't even move. It just, yeah. like, just went, what's next? You know? Yeah. <laughs> You got better than that. I'm, I'm two tons and I'm yeah, 600 yeah. horsepower and I can't put a dent in this tree. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's um, it's I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Does it is it dangerous what you do? The, the type of driving that you do? Well, the one I was doing last week, I must admit it is. Um, I do two different kinds of racing. I do circuit racing, which is like on road courses and so forth. And that I don't see that as dangerous because the worst that can happen is you hit another competitor or you go into the gravel trap. But the rallies are dangerous because if you make a mistake, you're into a gum tree or you're into someone's house or front fence. And there's, there's, there's we less. Ha we there's have less people gear. here who do that, even when it's not, you know, <laughs> sanctioned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a whole. <laughs> Billy Joel, you know, the thing going on. I've, you know, it can happen. Listen, good luck with the movie, Eric. It's, Thanks, it's lovely to meet you. Come back Thank and, and say hi to the folks in, in Melbourne for me. I will. I'm a Thanks. crazy horse. I'll be All here. right. I'll Thanks be here. a lot. Yeah. Eric Banner, everybody. We'll be right back. Eric. Yeah. How are you? What'd you call me? Eric. I don't know how many drugs you've taken, but I'm not Eric Banner. <laughs> oh, Regis! Thank God yeah. you're here! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I hardly recognise you with the, uh, you know... I know, it's a, it's a little it's a little different. It's a little different, but I, I did it for you. I just... I, you I shaved like to mix for it me? Up. I like to mix it up. <laughs> and uh, I thought... <laughs> You know, perhaps just you touching it might help alleviate some pain you're no, suffering. No, 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 I don't want to touch it. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't want to touch it. You can. No one's actually touched. No one's actually touched it. I don't. I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, your I, your wife's touched it. I don't want to second. touch it. Look, it's just a man's head. You don't touch another hang man's second, head. Hang, you can't pull out your tooth and share your tooth with us and chicken out from touching my head. Can I? Can I? Can I touch my tooth against your head? No. <laughs> well, that would be gross. That would be gross. All right, I'll touch it. Can I touch it? I've yeah, never touched it. You can touch it. You can touch it. All right. Oh, you're good. <laughs> All right, I'll do it again then. Uh, oh, 
it's kind of nice. It feels it's like you, my chin when I go like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, it's more convenient for me to do that, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, can I just point out something to you from the movie? Yeah. Like, when she, with the, the is that Natalie, who's? Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman, yeah. she says to you, Your Grace, you're playing King Henry VIII. I'm playing King Henry VIII. Why doesn't she say, Your Majesty? Well, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, because yeah, Your Grace is what choice. you say to a duke, right? right? But, like, for example, Duke Ellington, you say, Your Grace, Duke Ellington, that's what you say. <laughs> but you, you would, do, to a king, you would say, Your Majesty, wouldn't you? You see, we had someone on set that was supposed to be on top of this stuff, and what we should have had was you. Yeah, I'd have been there. <laughs> Anything to go with Natalie! This. Yeah, yeah. No, don't say your grace, darling. Oh, she's saying your grace again. She's going to ruin the whole movie. That's exactly what they do, too. Really? I know, eh? <laughs> I know I've been around them. Oh, God, it's good to see you. How's yeah. Australia? Have you been back there much? Yeah, I was home at Christmas time. Australia's good. It's always good. Yeah, it's a nice Nothing place. Nothing bad about it, really. Lucky country, I call it. It is, it is yeah, fantastic. I know. Yeah. No, it's nice. Melbourne, where you're at, isn't it? Yeah, last time I was on, you were you got quite obsessed talking about Adelaide and the strip clubs and all that sort of stuff. And it's funny because... Good um, strip clubs in Adelaide, yeah, know, that's all I'm saying. Know, know. You know, you can be jealous all you like, mate, but they're good. <laughs> the reason I bring it up, yeah. mate, is that uh, last week I got to meet your mate, Prince Charles. Ah. Uh, at the Royal Premiere for... Did he mention me at all? No. <laughs> He did it, but oddly enough, his only one to talk about was Adelaide. That's, that's where I first met him. <laughs> right. He was there. He was like, oh, that's awesome. Let me put another dollar in. Yeah. <laughs> Good, you yeah. had the London premiere last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we the Royals the came? Royal, yeah, Prince Charles was there and Camilla. Camilla did you met Camilla? Did you shake her hoof? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That was, that's mean. I'm that's, that's sorry. I can't be held responsible. I'm on a lot of medication. Me and Camilla are tight now. Yeah, I know. No, I'm we're, sorry we're about tight, that. Do so. you have a nice time in Britain? That's kind of the old country for Australians, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, it is. It is. I always feel like I'm going to get put in jail when I go there because, yeah, let's be honest, you know, there's a bit of that still lingering around, you know, yeah, when you come too. in with the Aussie passport. So. <laughs> well, but when I go, it's, it's more to do with my history than the passport. <laughs> <laughs> He's back! Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, what about the, uh, the, do the... Do the Australians still have the royal family or did you get rid of them? There was a big... No, we've still got them. You know, we voted... We had a referendum some years ago to discuss whether or not we would become a republic. And I think it was a little bit ahead of its time. So, in the end, we voted to, to keep them in. Wow. Which is a bit odd, isn't it? You I know? kind of think so in this day and age. But, of course, I'm an American now. I took citizenship. So I hear. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 I, uh... That's why I'm getting my teeth fixed. Yeah, yeah. Getting my teeth fixed, I'm going to shave my head. Yeah. Get some pectoral implants. Yeah, I'll get and... pectoral implants. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Take these out, baby. Why not? Why not? I'll go the whole He's long. American. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. this may come as a surprise to you, but not all Americans have pectoral implants. I know you've felt around a bit, but no, they haven't. Just the men, right? Just, Just the, the men, men. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, <laughs> what is this for? Is it for a film? Are you going to do it's, it? It's for it's for a film. It's 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 for a film. All right. <laughs> it's a secret. It's not for the other Berlin girl because you were wearing a hat in that it's clip. For, so. Yeah, we got we're having reshoots next week. It's going to be a bit. Yeah, <laughs> reshoots so. after the movie is released. <laughs> exactly. That's unusual. Well, yeah. you know, it's it's tracking well, but you know, yeah, you can. You always never know. Do. You can never be too careful. Yeah, did you do you have a nice? Because Henry VIII was. Everybody thinks of him as being a big fat bloke. That's right. Well, he was. In the end. Right. But we're dealing with his earlier years and Young we're Henry. dealing with uh, his relationship with Anne and Mary, played of course by Natalie and Scarlett. Yeah, Fantastic. that must have been tough for you. It was, yeah. it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, with your shaved head and your <laughs> pectoral <and> limb plants. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so, we're, so we're dealing... It's essentially, you know, a story about the two sisters, and I'm caught in between. And you're you're the, the innocent Henry VIII That's caught right. between <laughs> Scarlett Johansson and Natalie Portman, yeah. yeah. Right. They didn't Gee. call you? They, you no, didn't they, the you know, they tried, but I, my, my heart is at CBS, so... <laughs> No, 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 no. It, it's good. And, and you, it, well, then what happened to Henry later? Then he got syphilis and fat. He got he? syphilis. Yeah. He got syphilis. Not necessarily from those two girls in particular. <laughs> I mean, there were more than there were quite a there few. There were a few in be between. Honest. Yeah. Um, um, and he did. Yeah. He went. He went mad in the end. He he went stark raving mad. I yeah. mean, he didn't have the sort of painkillers that we have today. Thank you know? the Lord. <laughs> yeah. And that brings us full circle. Eric, it's always a pleasure to see you. Please come back and see us any time. I'm looking forward to seeing this film. I'm interested in this kind of stuff. The lovely Eric Barner, everybody. We're Please welcome the lovely Eric Banner, everybody. Eric Banner.
are you, pal? I'm I'm really good. I love August. August is a good month. For oh, me, so. August. <laughs> It's a fine month. It's winter in Australia, August. It's absolutely bloody freezing at home at really? the moment. Yeah, so it's really nice to be out here in the heat. Oh, it's very, very hot here. Yeah. Yeah, right now. I did knock it off, your wise ass. All right, then. Hey, it's nice to see you with your hair back again. Because the last time you were here, you were shooting Star Trek. It was all bald. I was uh, shiny bald, and uh, my, my hair has grown back. Thank God. I'm yeah, yeah. Good. Thank God it came back. And uh, What about on the rest of your body? Did it all grow back there, too? <laughs> I, I always keep that shave, so right, uh, right. don't give it a chance. But it's come back, and um, you know, like yourself, a couple of greys as well. I noticed you got a bit of grey. And can I say, I want to shake your hand because you know what I'm sick of? What? The black helmet. Do you know what the black helmet is? Uh, I think it's a movie I saw one. <laughs> <laughs> that was the red helmet. All right. um, the black helmet is is the thing that uh, that men get when they decide to oh, try and cover the, the greys. Oh my god, yeah. it's horrible, so, isn't so it? So the two of us together. Look, well, look, grey guys. Men out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I don't. That's that's enough of this homoerotic nonsense. <laughs> You took it that way. I didn't. No. I took it as a high five. I, I don't know what it was for you. I thought we were. I thought we were. You know. Recreating scenes from the Black Helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You'll be able to point them out now. Yeah, no, hey, I, Black Helmet. I know Black Helmet, and they dye their eyebrows as well. It's horrible. <laughs> they look like a child's drawing of someone. They <laughs> do. The thing I love about the Black Helmet is they really think no one's going to notice. I know. It's <laughs> very sad. It's very, very sad. Are you not going to dye your hair then? I occasionally play with it, you know, for film, but in real life, no. No, I mean, no, my, you my, can't. my wife would, would be terrified, actually. She loves the grey. So right. she'd probably love you. <laughs> Eric, please, you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> You're Eric Banner. I'm a doucher in the middle of the night. Come on. <laughs> You're good. If you say so. No, it's a true story. Now, what's the movie? The Time Traveler's Wife? I, do you, are you the wife or the Time Traveler? Oh, I, I am the uh, second wife. I, right, am, right. I am the, the husband of uh, the lovely Rachel McAdams, and uh, it's based on a best-selling book, The Time Traveler's Wife, which was a that was the name of the book too. Novel. Yeah, oh, we, we tweaked oh. it a bit. Uh, we call it Time Traveler's Wife, the movie. Right. Um, <laughs> and uh, I basically have a condition where I involuntarily travel through time, and I basically visit my wife as that she's happened to me. Going up. <laughs> Without alcohol. Yeah, that's... Ah, see, that's what I yeah. would drink tequila. <laughs> Three days later, it's the future. Actually, it's funny you say that because... That's actually what one of the things that triggers Henry's time travel is is drinking in in the film. So yeah, it I, could I believe be based it. On yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> I believe it. Now tell me, does he wake up often in dumpsters in Mexico? Because that. Right. Right. Uh, no, no, luckily. Um, no. Although, actually, he does wake up in precarious situations and, unfortunately for me, naked as well. Which you, you don't have a time machine? I, well, if I do, I still travel in the time machine without clothes. I mean, it's like... <laughs> How it. does that work? I don't know. It's just a device that the author had in the book and we had to do it in the film and I had to wake up around Chicago, various places, just stark naked. <laughs> I'm quite interested in this film now. <laughs> did you actually do it yourself or did you have a body double? Uh, I have a, uh, a body double called the Black Helmet. Who? Right, uh, right. Um, that's, that's who everybody uses. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, no, I did, I did it myself. <laughs> uh, but I, I didn't really want to because really who wants to see a, a naked 40-year-old butt? I, I really think it's, you know... Actually, that's not true. I just I just turned forty one last week. Forty so, one. Yeah. Yep. It's time to start dyeing your hair. So. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> Do you know when I first started the show? CBS made me dye my hair to appeal to young people. They really? Say. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I'm just gonna creep them out. They're gonna like. They're gonna like it's like a creepy old guy with dye hair going, Hey, do you like me, young people? It's very strange, isn't it? What is it about the deification of youth? Why is youth so celebrated in this town? Because hardly anybody's young. They're all old. No one's allowed to age in, in, uh, in Los Angeles, which is really interesting. I mean, I, I'm actually fascinated by it because, like I said before, it's like people don't notice. But you always notice. And the yes. whole Botox thing, it's like, well, you still look 45, but you look like you're 45 with Botox. Right. Like, that's how it works. Yeah. 
I sometimes do that in the mirror, though. Just go, holy crap. <laughs> That's what it would look like. If I, was, if I wasn't married to my wife, this is what I'd look like right now. <laughs> That's, that's, that's not bad. That is See, that's, that's the thing, freaky. though. But that, what it is, is that, that straight on, it's all right. But what they forget is there's the side of your face. Because yeah. I'm sure when Cher looks in the mirror, she goes, oh, it's all right. But it's the yeah. minute you turn slightly to one degree, you go, ah! You know how you have the, uh, the, I don't know if you have it in America, but in a lot of the uh, bathrooms in Australia, we have this kind of like infrared lighting that, you know, so people can't. Um, do drugs. It's so basically, no. you can, yeah. So wouldn't it be good if they had an infrared light that just highlighted Botox at night? Oh, yeah. yeah, just fluorescent glow. You know, that would be awesome. Could we have that? <laughs> no, we can't have that. It sounds very expensive. <laughs> that would be great. Well, you can see it though. You don't need to highlight it. I don't, tell me about these uh, amazing Australian drug-free bathrooms. What the? Uh, well, um, it's basically. I think it's so you can't see your veins if you're in a bathroom. Oh. It's just as a normal Australian thing. I mean, we're completely, you know, normal down there. We're just, every bathroom. No, I thought you were, aren't you a notorious <laughs> heroin addict in Australia? Where it, just all ah, good eye, Mike, good eye. I'm just having some heroin. I'm just enjoying some heroin, Mike. I've not painted my country in a very good light. No, 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 it's right. I've been there. You've so got you know Australia this. the movie, the Hugh Jackman version, and I come on here and talk about the bathrooms <laughs> where you can't shoot up. Yeah. No, come on. I've been to Australia. You know that. I know. You, you're obsessed with Adelaide. We've been through Well, yeah, before. Adelaide, the, the strip tea saloon there, and the, uh, the the Crazy Horse, lovely place, yeah. And Melbourne yeah. you're from, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I love Melbourne. I have to get back there, you know. You, I've should, been you, should, you should. I went to an opera in Melbourne once. Well, it's very, uh, very artistic. Yeah, very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I had the DTs in the opera. <laughs> so what did you do? It's the only time I ever had them. I left. <laughs> it was very, very No one noticed. Uh, I think they noticed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, because the, the opera was Tales of Hoffman. That was the name of the opera. And it's not meant to be frightening. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh! Right out. Kind of like uh, Seth Rogen and Paul Rudd in, in, uh, in, was it Knocked Up, where they went to uh, Vegas and so Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, that's Cirque so, yeah. du Soleil when they've had company. herbal cigarettes. That's how yeah. be frightening. Yeah, you don't want to you don't, want to, you don't do anything like that. You're, no, you're no, married I, with kids I, and stuff. I, oh, I enjoy a drink, but, um, uh, you know. I, really? I what kind of drink do you enjoy? I'm a, uh, I'm a bit of a Scotch wine man. Really? Yeah. What kind of a Scotch do you drink? Just Johnny Walker Red on the Rocks. Really? Yeah. Let me recommend a Scotch to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. <laughs> Now listen, when an alcoholic Scotsman recommends a scotch, you should I'll listen. write it down. <laughs> yeah. It's called Highland Park. It's from the He's Orkney. The worst. It's a terrible name. Cheapest. Terrible nasty. name. I'm joking. Terrible I'm name. Joking. It's not, because uh, it, it should be called Hakabrui or something like that. But it's called Highland Park. It's mm -hmm. the only whiskey that I know that they make in the Orkneys, which is the islands off the north coast of Scotland. You drink that stuff, pff, rehab in two weeks. Really? Is that your per personal guarantee? It's, it's so delicious, you'll be like, I don't care. I give wow. up everything for this. And then, and then uh, two weeks later, you've been rehabbing, I'll be all right. Um, celebrity rehab or just a normal rehab? What would you prefer? The dyed hair rehab or gray hair rehab? Well, I go, I, I go the gray hair rehab. Yeah, that's... And tell me, are you one of these, like, purists? You, ha you can't have... Ice with it has to be neat. Well, I can't have true? whiskey with it, no. Right. Uh, I can't even have whiskey with my whiskey. Just rocks on the well, rocks. Well, I used to drink it with t maybe just a little tiny bit of water sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But or near. That... Just near water is fine. <laughs> Well, how do you drink? Do you drink it with ice and soda and Coca-Cola? No, no, never with Coca-Cola. Sometimes just neat or maybe, you know, a little bit of ice. What, about, what do they make in Australia, a strong drink? They, they, what, wine is We, we make beautiful wine in right. Australia. And we make beautiful beer as well. I mean, we're, you know, renowned what, for well, yeah, what was that wheat Victoria beer? Victoria bitters, fantastic. Melbourne bitters, fantastic. That red spider thing? What was that again? Uh, the Redback? Redback, yeah, red yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we make, yeah, great, great beer in Australia. Oh, yeah, yeah, I And uh, it's that. higher alcoholic content than in America, which we're very proud of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that Australia has a higher reason. alcoholic content than America yeah. as well. You know, just you get more alcoholics. <laughs> Eric, it's, all, it's always good to see you, mate. Please come and back and see you me. soon. Eric Barrett, yeah. everybody. Yeah. I'll be back in uh, eight months. <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>